What's up guys, Blades Dang Tech back in another video and today as you see a lot of PC parts right in front of you and and my brother where he's going to be building his first PC I'm going to teach him how to do it so I've taken apart multiple PCs just to get one PC done I'm pretty sure the only new thing in this whole build is the case so let's get right into it I'm going to be teaching him how to build it while also he builds his own PC because I don't want to do it. I'm kind of lazy, so he can do it. Even though this, I think, is more effort. So, yeah, we're going to build this guy his PC. Let's get into it. Okay, so right here we have an OEM motherboard. It came from an Acer OEM PC inside of it. It's a Core i3-4130, which is a... Kind of, it's an okay CPU for budget bills and low power requirements, which is something we need. Um, it's also a full size ATX, which means I can also upgrade, say, something like a network card or Wi Fi card or something like in there. That was pretty cool as well. I wanted that, and also I wanted an OEM board that had normal motherboard uh, power connectors. That was something I really needed as well. Would have liked quad channel, didn't get quad channel. That don't matter because our next thing is HyperX, two four gigabytes of HyperX 1666 memory. DDR3, yes, because this motherboard is DDR3, but these are probably one of the best DDR3 sticks you can get, kind of. They look cool, one of the coolest ones you can get anyway. And then right above that you see the graphics cards. You're looking at the, the awesome, the one and only GTX 750 Ti, the legendary card from NVIDIA. Sadly, this one came with a six pin connector at the top, but that's okay because we got a plan for that, which leads to our power supply. So our power supply is a HP. This is not, the, this is not one that came with it. This is a workstation. I bought this separately. This one came from a workstation. So this one's actually 500 Watts. So this is a 500 Watt OEM power supply for 20 or I got. So this one's actually pretty good. It has all the connectors. There is one problem, the PCI cables themselves are a little short. So I bought an extender that's not going to be in this video, so we're going to have to use an adapter. We're going to use one of these, but uh, yes, in future, as soon as that comes, I'm going to be putting it in. I'm not going to make a video on that, but yeah, so that's why you're seeing us put an adapter in. So this also, I bought why I bought an OEM, so it came with a hard drive. So the hard drive it came with was a one terabyte WD digital. A WD Blue hard drive, which are pretty good. One of the best hard drives I'd see. I'll stick around. I don't know if that means it's dying or not, but it works. Um, also, and then I bought an SSD upgrade because why not have an SSD? Because they are really fast. So they make everything feel snappy, even though they might be as snappy as like a really expensive PC. So I bought this one secondhand 80 gigabyte Intel one, which looks pretty cool and it's silver, kind of silver, silver, silver. It's kind of half silver built, it's more silver. You get what I mean. And then onto the case. This is the CIT K11B case from CIT, like I just said, I'm repeating myself now. So this one's kind of cool. You can kind of, it has a see-through front thing where you can put a fan, but we're not gonna be putting a fan there. Uh, we also forgot the fan. The fan's in my room, I'll get that. <laughs> and so yeah, it has a power supply mount at the top. It's gonna be up there. It's kind of an old fashioned way of doing it, but we kind of needed it for this build so all the connectors could reach. It's full ATX, it has the see-through side panel which we needed, but this was a really cheap case. This case cost, I think 30 euro, shipped. Two day delivery from United Kingdom to Ireland, which was pretty cool. So yeah, it has one hard drive bay down the bottom, one SSD bay on top of that. It's kind of very minimalistic in there. That's kind of cool, but we're going to mount a blue LED fan at the very back, right there. And that's going to be the airflow going through, because these parts don't need much airflow. Uh, very low powered. One a little bit. One is enough. So, okay. Let's get into my little brother building this. Okay, so first things first that he's going to have to do, he's going to have to take the side panels off the PC in order to get them done. So he's going to do that right now. So the front of it, it's just screws, four screw things. He can do it. Are you doing it? Yes. <laughs> Take a screwdriver. I'll try to help you. 
Okay, the two bottom ones I heard. This is where the cheapness of the case comes in. Should be able to screw that off now. Yeah. Top one. Oh. Let's just snap my fingers and come back when, uh, yeah, me has all the side panels taken off because it's lower shit. Okay, so I've given up trying to record this. Um, this is the end of the video. No, so I found it too difficult to like record everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to update you every time we've installed something. Or like if he's screwing in something, I might just do a quick thing. So that's what's going to happen. That's why you might see this PC built way faster now. It does fit. Push it in. No. Yes, like that. I did it. <laughs> it in. Now check if see if the screw is aligned. The holes where the screw should go in, they should align. Yes, here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What kind of screw one? The four right there. Eight. Yes. There's only two. Oh, There's no oh. four. But they won't work. Cheese. Just connect to the motherboard in now. <laughs> so that's it all in. So now we're going to move on to putting the RAM in. I didn't hear. Oh, I have to push it down. Yep. So hard. <laughs> You're that one there as well. The other screw that's there. This one. Mm -hmm. Not. Hold it. You have two hands. How can I hold it? It's on. It comes up from the other side. This. All it is is gonna move. That's kind of already in. in the back. Oh shit! What? I gotta find. Make sure it's all in. Is it? I don't know if that's in. Okay, that's in. Do I fix this up? The thing behind the white yolk. Yes, fix that up. Can you can you hit it? No. He's finally finished his PC. It's just, it would have been good, except for the case was kind of shit. Everything was going fine, but then the case was kind of shit. If you get what I mean? Shit. Yes. No, it actually, it looks pretty good. Everything is good about it, except for the motherboard. It uses mandatory parts, mandatory screws, which is a bit weird. I don't know why. Um, cable, man cable management was a bit iffy. The there's only one hard drive slot, which is not too bad. We only have one hard drive, but if you ever want it more, there's no more than that. The back fan you need to orientate your fan in a weird position. Um, it just was really cheap. The power supply didn't really fit in right. To really try to squish it in, the screws weren't in the right places, and. For having kit, no kit, very little cable management, if you wanted good cable management, you need to have the wires coming through the SSD holes, which means you can't mount your SSDs, which we have a problem because if we look in here, that cable, that SSD is not mounted. It's just, it's just sitting there because two reasons. One of them was the power cable for a GPU wasn't long enough, so to make it 
a different plan. So that was the other plan. But also the cable management for the hard drive interfered with the kit, with the SSD screwing in. Other than that, this went on pretty well. We've already test booted, everything works fine. So yeah, I'll leave you guys with some V-roll. Off this guy's PC. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, go. Whenever you want. Go I see. Oh, space up too. Oh, there you go. Put it on the side and take it out. On camera, smoke you. Huh? On camera. Sit down. You hold the camera. Huh? You hold the camera. Hold the what? Camera. Here. Okay. Some good actions on me. You don't need to do it. Hold on. It's all right.